Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to tell you about the admin panel of Fedina, which is also known as the SaaS panel. So uh, you have to use the URL accounts.fedina.com and uh, you have to enter the username and password as provided in the mail by Fedina. So I'm entering that username and password. and I'll get this admin dashboard. So I can change my user profile or I can view my user profile by clicking on this drop here and clicking on user profile. And here I can see the details. I can even edit them if I want to. I can change the password of this admin panel from here. Then I can see the company details. So company details is my organization details. So this is the URL username that I used to log in into this admin panel. Number of licenses are the number of schools that you can create in this admin panel. White label enabled is true for you. So it means we can, we'll be able to set white label. We'll see what it means later in the video. Then we can see the plugins. So these are the plugins that are available with me as per my licensing agreement. And I'll be able to give these plugins to the schools that I'm going to create next. Then email settings. Email settings will be blank for you for the first time. You'll get an option here to add. You have to click on that. And you have to contact a third party SMTP provider who's going to give you all these parameter values. Once these values are set properly, we can save it and using Fedina school URL will be able to send emails. Similar is the case with SMS. You'll get a button here to add. You can click on it and using a third party SMS provider, you can enter these details that will be given to you. Now, sometimes the third party providers may not use username as a key. They might use user ID. So in that case, the same parameter mapping has to be done. So in case the field name is different anywhere, that field has to be mapped here. Once this is done, it can be saved and I'll be able to send SMS from Fedina to the users. Then we have white label. It is appearing here because it is true. White label enabled is true. So I'll be getting this link here and white label, I can give a company name and company URL. The users that in my school that I've already created or in the schools that I'm going to create after this, you will see here powered by. So powered by Feradian is appearing because Feradian is what I, have, I would have written here for that school. And when I click on it, I'm going to be redirected to this site. This will appear in all the pages in Fedina after logging in as well. So this is white label. After this, we have the local settings. So local settings are dependent on the location of your institution. And once you've done local settings, they'll be applicable to all the schools that you create after doing the local settings. So here you can see all these details are editable and they can be set and Fedina 3.3 gives you an option to set themes which have around 50 available colors which can be chosen. Similar is the case with font. You are going to get all these options for font and they can be selected. So once this is done, the last thing is plugin settings where you will see Google or Auth. So here you need to put the client key and client secret as per the OAuth settings. So we will be doing this when we want to log in into Fedina school using our Gmail accounts. 
So all the users will be able to log in in Fedina using their Gmail accounts. So how to do these client secret and client key settings will be dealt in another video. So once we have seen all these company settings now, let me show you how to create a school. So you'll get this tab here, schools, and for the first time it'll be empty. You'll have to click on new school to be able to create a school. So let me show you how to create a school. You have to give the name of the school or the institution. If you want the same SMS settings and email settings that I've set in company, you can tick this. Otherwise, you can untick it. So for this school, if I've unticked it, I'll be able to set independent SMS and email settings. Then it'll ask you for the domain name. So the domain name would be the white label, which was fedina.com in our case, followed by what you want to give. What, means, what this means is that using this link, you will be able to access Fedina. So here domain is the URL using which you access the school. Fedina.com is provided by default for all the users. If you want to have some other domain here, for example, seh4.yourschool.com, in that case, you'll have to do some extra settings. Regarding that also, we'll be coming up with another video. So once we've set the domain using which we can access the school, we can assign extra functionalities to that school, which are the plugins. Core functionalities comes with all the schools, all the Fedina schools. If you want some extra functionalities to be assigned to the school, you can select them here and save it. Once this is done, you'll be able to access the school using this link that you've given. So this is how schools are created. Based on the number of licenses, you can create one or more schools. In the same way, we can create multi-school groups as well. About multi-school group, I'm going to again have another video describing how to create a multi-school group and how to create schools inside multi-school group. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.